Hello, welcome to my channel. So we have a John Doe found at July 18th and 19th and 94. No estimated age range. In Decatur, Georgia, black African American male. Cannot estimate height or weight or year of death. Um, is not listed. PMI, estimated PMI is not listed. I don't know if they don't know it or if it's just not listed. So I don't know if they have an estimated age range because it doesn't say cannot estimate there. It just doesn't list it. So, but it says cannot estimate higher weight. And I was just taking that ball and running with it, but they didn't enter it. I don't know if they don't have it or if they just didn't enter it. Um, he was found in a tree canopy above a drainage waterway. He was almost fully skeletonized. So that makes me wonder if they can't tell how long he'd been there. Uh, Harris says brown, but he's African American. So to me, his hair is black, but they might, some people consider it dark brown. And not black, depending. Um, 32 inch waist on the pants, and it gives a brand. And there's other things. Um, a progress note from the Bridgeport Transitional Living Center was found in his pocket with a number 292-8304 on the back. I mean, really? You would think they'd be able to. That would help them. An implant and a single USPS a post office box key with a serial number 17071. And to me, you would think they would know who had that post office box, right? And who stayed at the Bridgeport Transitional Living Center. So that really bothers me. It makes me feel like they might know who it is. <sighs> so... And here's an image of what he might have looked like, or however they did. I'm not sure how they did it. Which reminded me of that man in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Because doesn't he look similar to him? Doesn't he kind of look similar? Even though there's a, they found a, a there's a, a John Doe that was found in Stone Mountain, Georgia. But doesn't he look similar, kind of? And Decatur, Georgia is in DeKalb County. And so is Stone Mountain. So it's the same county. I wonder how far away he was found in that hammock from Stone Mountain. I wonder how far away from where he disappeared was that John Doe found. Uh, black African American, 19 years old, weight 165, 175. Um, but it says he's been missing since August 29th, 1994. But it says that he was last seen August 29th, 1994. So that couldn't be him, could it? Unless they got the date wrong or reported him missing a month later, or because his vehicle was found August 31st, 1994, on Gresham Road. Foul play is suspected. I don't know. I really thought that looked similar to him. But, of course, there is. And you can see Decatur, Georgia and Stone Mountain are just 20 minutes apart, depending on how you go. And exactly where it is in Stone Mountain and where it was in Decatur, you know. And then, there, of course, there's that man that was unidentified in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And an image of what he might have looked like. And I don't know how old he is. Because there's no estimated age. Because then I thought, well, maybe he's younger, you know. And they drew him older. But the height, 5'9 to 5'10, estimated. And he is 6'2 to 6'3. So there is that. But he was found in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, June 25th, 1995. Which was just... A year after he went missing. And I'm not sure when the person passed away. But their remains were found in a cluster of rocks. About 300-400 feet south of the wooded incline near the base of Stone Mountain. Black man. Tight curls. No idea of his age. Because it's not there. But when I saw this. And I, I just. It reminded me of him. But this could be somebody that wasn't even reported missing or it could be a different missing person. So if you have any idea 
someone maybe they have a, a same similar features you know that went missing in Decatur Georgia or in DeKalb County please make sure that they're on NamUs. Check if you have a loved one or family member that is missing to see if the investigators have put them on NamUs and that they've actually been reported as a missing person. Um, you know, check and make sure because maybe you thought they were, maybe something happened to the case files over the years and they've been stored differently and maybe there was a fire or a flood or a plumbing leak or anything, right? water damage anything happened to the case files since 1994 and so just check and make sure if you have a loved one that's missing that they're on NamUs and if they're not on NamUs and you can't get them on NamUs see if you can't get them on the Doe Network and the Charlie Project if you have any information about what might have happened to Brian Dwayne Hobbs or who this unidentified person is in Stone Mountain, Georgia, please contact authorities as well. This is somebody's loved ones, their family members. Don't forget to pray for their family, and feel free to leave comments, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.